Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the 1130 session of Coastal Compass Connections. Happy Tuesday. Samantha, how are you doing this Tuesday, ma'am? Fantastic. Cannot right, I have no complaints. We got to do a high five for the viewers now. Ready? Okay, on three. Ready? One, two, three. All right. I missed. <laughs> That's all right. We're getting we're getting the hang of it, right? So um, just want to welcome everybody who's watching on Facebook and everyone who's uh, viewing the video after the fact. Hopefully you're joining us live today. But again, this is the Coastal Compass Connections, where we are interacting with our partners. We're getting some information about um, uh, educational programs that are available in our community. Today, we're really excited to have Coastal Bend College on, on the call with us. And, um, you know, just want to thank you for viewing and for watching us today. Look, if you're watching on Facebook, make sure you comment and ask questions. We'll post those questions live and we'll try to get them answered during the presentation today. Sam, do you have anything you want to add to the viewing audience? Yeah, we're excited to be here. We're excited to have you here with us. Um, please interact that, uh, you know, we're here to answer your questions and it's a live format. So whatever you've got, throw it at us and we'll, we'll get it answered. Awesome. Well, just uh, just so everybody knows, Sam is going to be the host today. Sam is our site coordinator at Coastal Compass Education and Career Resource Center. Without further ado, Sam, I'm going to jump backstage and bring our guests on, and the floor is yours. Awesome. Thanks again for connecting with us today if you're viewing at home. Thanks, Jeff. Well, hey, guys, just like Jeff said, um, the whole point of this today is to you know connect with our partners and still be that valuable resource that, um, you know, you guys would come into the center for. So we are here, we are virtual and we are live and we're ready to go. We have the Coastal Bend College team with us today. Hi everybody, how are you today? We're doing great. Hi. We're good. Awesome. Good Thank you for being here. We're so excited. And um, you know, I know you I know you guys have some great stuff to present today. So we're interested and uh, we're eager and let's get to it. Dean Suarez, take it away. Well, thank you. So we'll go ahead and just get started. And uh, this presentation is on behalf of the Coastal Bend College team. Uh, we just want to reassure all of our students uh, attending CBC or those of you interested in attending CBC that uh, we really want to focus on your success and make sure that we offer opportunities to you that um, are going to extend the opportunities that you have available within your academic careers and even your professional careers. CBC is here to support you in any way that we can. So we're very, very excited to be here with you today. Um, any questions that you may have during the presentation uh, or even after the presentation, answer those questions and help facilitate your enrollment at CBC as we move forward. As we, as we like to say, success always happens here and we're here to make sure that you uh, are successful while at CBC as well. So we'll go ahead and get started with the presentation. Um, just very briefly, I won't cover the table of contents uh, just so we don't overwhelm everyone with all of the information that, that we're going to be providing. So we'll go through this uh, throughout the presentation this morning. So um, we're going to go ahead and just start off with a message from the deans. And as I mentioned earlier, um, we are uh, want to make sure that you're successful. Um, college is always going to be an investment, a really worthy investment that as you progress through your career and as you progress through your studies, uh, you will see that um, the, your education is going to be a very, very uh, critical and impactful um, resource that you will have moving forward. So um, an investment uh, in knowledge pays the best interest. So moving forward, it's something that you can always, um, you know, benefit and gain from with regards to uh, having an education. So just a quick message from the deans. Uh, we want to offer you the best experience, a great experience while you're at CBC. Obviously, the current uh, uh, pandemic has changed um, how we can offer our services and how we're able to provide you with information and resources. Nonetheless, we've been working very, very hard uh, as part of the college and as part of the CBC team to offer uh, things like virtual orientations, uh, virtual opportunities for personal um, enrichment uh, with regards to uh, the experiences that you would have here at the college um, if we were uh, functioning in a traditional academic setting. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, we still offer you that college experience, uh, you know, regardless of the current uh, pandemic that we're, we're having to work around. So um, as we uh, progress through this presentation, I know that uh, Dean Jones and her team uh, will offer some very, very valuable information to as to a lot of the neat resources and things that are hap happening on the student services side. And our uh, connection and our partnership with Coastal uh, uh, Compass is going to be one of those neat things that we're very, very excited in how we recruit and how we give you the information 
uh, with regards to the opportunities that you have available at CDC? Absolutely. Um, you know, we're excited to, you know, start that partnership and, you know, get those connections going. Absolutely. Thank you, Dean Suarez. Um, my name is Kayla Devorah Jones, and I'm the Dean of Student Services and Accessibility. And um, before I uh, continue with the slide, I do want to recognize Randy O'Brien, who is our uh, one of our success coaches here at Coastal Bank College. And um, she assists our students along with our other success coaches and making sure that you're guided along your pathway here at Coastal Bend, uh, making sure you're taking the right classes. And, um, and then Dean Suarez and his team will welcome you at graduation as you walk across the stage. And then we also have um, Trey Chapa down here. He is the CTE Recruitment and Retention Specialist through Perkins. And um, he will share some really great information for you and also information about our CTE programs we offer here at Coastal Bend College. So um, at Coastal Bend College, we are a student-centered community college, um, and we provide um, many educational opportunities and what we do, and we are um, really focused on uh, lifelong learning. And so that's very important to us and all we do. So um, please know that is our mission and student success definitely is our mission. Here's some quick facts about um, CBC. We were founded in 1965, and we actually have several athletic teams that we're very proud of, men's and uh, women's basketball, um, softball, baseball, soccer, and also volleyball. So we encourage everyone to come out and um, watch the games this semester, maybe virtually, but um, we'll have information posted on our webpage to share with you. We are accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools Commission on Colleges, so also known as SAC COC. Um, just like every other university and college in, um, in Texas is accredited by our major um, institutions. And then we also have different program specific agency accreditations uh, for dental hygiene, which is CODA. Our radiology program is accredited through JCERT, and then nursing, of course, is accredited through the Board of Nursing. And on the nursing um, note, actually, Trey, I'm gonna go ahead and, and hand it off to you because you wanted to talk to us about our nursing program and give us some highlights. Uh, yeah, thanks, Dean. Um, so yeah, I wanted to highlight our uh, nursing program because it's one of our, our uh, um, most prestigious, uh, highly ranked programs that we have here. Um, we're, we're one of the top ranked nursing programs in the state. Uh, we have a 90% um, passing rate for, for the licensing exams for, for our RN um, graduates. Um, the, the base annual salary for a, an RN, a registered nurse, is about $72,000 um, a year. So, so it's it's pretty good to know, you know, it's not chump change, but um, um, yeah, our nursing program is uh, definitely one of the highlights of, of Coastal Bank College. Um, we're, we're very proud of the work that um, all, all our staff does, uh, our students do. Um, uh, there are, are, are a lot of our staff, all of our nursing staff um, have, um, they have experience, you know, in the field working you know, uh, in hospitals, years of experience, and they have, you know, all these connections, and um, um, they actually have um, hospitals and places that that um, ask for our graduates specifically um, through through our um, our our program. Um, so, so not only do we offer the you know the tools to succeed while you're here, um, but also moving forward um, in your career. When you have um, just, just the type of connections and the type of um, um, experience that you get from from being here, uh, from our staff to to the clinical experiences that you have while you're on campus. Uh, here in Beeville, we have a um, uh, 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 Spahn, um Hospital that I know a lot of our our students work at, and um, there and honestly, given the you know the current state of the world, the global pandemic, um, we've seen just how important 
um, healthcare is, you know, especially now. Um, so, so if there's one field that, um, even in normal times is not gonna, gonna be, you know, decreasing or is always important. It's the healthcare field, you know, especially now, um, there is no shortage of the need for, for good healthcare workers, Mm -hmm. um, for good nurses to provide, you know, aid and comfort for those who are, who are suffering right now. Mm -hmm. So, um, and Coastal Bend College is a great place to, to get started on that and to find a place to, um, to, to start working. What a great point, Trey. Um, you know, for someone viewing or someone interested in possibly going to Coastal Bend College for nursing, how would they go about enrolling into the program or the certification? Great. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the first step is applying to the college through our Apply Texas link. And I think the deans are going to speak to more about the, the admissions process into the college. But um, but once you're in, there are a couple of different tracks that you can go about. So we have our traditional RN track where the students will just start. It's a two year track. And um, when they finish, they will get their, their, their take their licensing exam to become an RN. We also have um, an LVN track. Uh, it takes about a year. Uh, where the students, at the end of that, they'll get their license for vocational nursing. And of course, there's a bridge program where if you're already a current LVN or if you get your LVN here, um, you can always bridge over to to the RN. And so doing any of those, the first step would be to take uh, uh, take an exam. It's called the TEAS test. And everyone loves taking exams. Um, mm-hmm. The TEAS is like a placement test for, for nursing um, or for our nursing staff. You take that. And then depending on your score, that's when you can start the application for, for nursing um, um, for, for either the RN or, or the bridge program. Awesome. Thank you. We uh, also have, um, oh, sorry. Samantha. No, go ahead. I was just going to say. We also have several um, continuing education opportunities as well, medication um, aid, and then also our certified nursing assistant program. So you can start. Um, at any level. Um, Well, actually, you would start with the CNA and then work your way up to the LVN and then RN. And then we would help you transition into hopefully a bachelor's um, of nursing and where you'd like to go. So we will help you with that pathway all the way through. Um, Just to continue back on our our, um, presentation, our main campus is located in Beeville. And we do have three centers. One's located in Alice, Kingsville, and the other one is in Pleasanton. So um, we offer all of our serve support services to our whole college district, and um, you can work with any location that works best for you. Dean Suarez. So um, we have uh, several different uh, admissions requirements depending on the type of student that you are uh, coming into CVC. But uh, I'll cover the first time in college admission requirements because for the most part, this is the, these are the requirements that you would have to complete uh, at CBC. And the, the ones that we have, for instance, for our international students, our dual credit students, will follow the same process. Uh, so I think this is a good overview of what you'd be needing in order to, to gain admissions to CBC. So um, uh, basically, the first thing that you would have to do is complete an admissions application through Apply Texas. Uh, we can help you with that process. We have those services available here. Uh, we are an open admissions institution. So um, we do uh, try and help our students gain admissions into the college leading up into the first class day. Um, we don't have a, a firm or set admissions deadline. Um, and that's just so we can work with uh, you know a lot of the busy schedules that our students have in, in leading up to the first class day to making sure that we offer the opportunities uh, with regards to admissions at CBC. The second step would be uh, submitting your financial aid application or your free application for federal student aid. Uh, We can help you with that process here at the college as well. We have student support services that are available virtually and remotely, or if you feel comfortable actually coming into the campus, uh, feel free to stop by and we can help you with that process. Uh, We do, uh, we have planned appropriately uh, with regards to the COVID-19 pandemic, and we've made sure that all of our areas are spaced out. We make sure that that there's uh, that you're going to be safe while on campus, and that we've implemented the, the proper procedures and. We have implemented the um, the safety protocols here to keep everyone safe at CBC. Our success coaches are meeting with students face to face, doing face to face appointments. You can schedule an appointment with a success coach at coastalbend.edu forward slash success 
hyphen coaching. Um, on there, you'll see a link that says click here to set up your appointment. The success coach will then um, pull up your degree plan and get everything prepared and set a time that works best for you and them. Um, and then meet in a safe place um, at any one of our locations with social distancing. And of course, please wear your mask when you're on campus. Um, we also are meeting with students virtually through Microsoft Teams and also by phone. So um, feel free to uh, reach out to us and we'll contact you back. I know we're, we're wrapping up and closing, we're getting towards the end of our presentation. So um, I just, I really want to stress that CBC is here uh, for, for you. I mean, we're ready, we're willing to, to help and um, get you started on your pathway to college or, or continue um, in whatever field you'd like to go into. We offer a variety of programs and please feel free to search those on our website at coastalbend.edu top blue banner, click on programs, and it'll list all of our programs that we have to offer. Thank you, what um, gr great points. Um, you know, when you're talking about how, Trey, you are mentioning about how um, nursing is such an important field right now to go into with COVID-19 and, you know, everything else that has come with it, you know, your certifications and your, your degree plans that y'all mentioned earlier, um, you know, well-rounded really and truly all of those all of those studies and those careers you know they are very important right now they're in high demand and you know they are um valuable jobs right now so really and truly you guys you know coastal bend college they they definitely have um you know the right programs for you to go into um i know jobs and school is a little scary right now but absolutely they they are that resource for you Thank you, Samantha. In our allied health um, programs, we also have radiology, technology, and dental hygiene, um, which are also <clears throat> very popular programs. Absolutely. I'm back. Sorry, I had a little bit of technical difficulties. Uh, it so is I'm, fine. <laughs> so I'm signed in through my uh, iPhone now, so hopefully that'll that'll resolve the issue. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, but uh, some of the financial aid opportunities, which is going to be very, very important. We understand that it's not just about getting you enrolled into classes and getting you coursework, but the financial uh, piece and component is also very, very important for students, for all students. Um, you know, as I progressed through my college career, I know financial aid was instrumental for me in order to do that. I wouldn't have been able to pursue a, a higher education if there hadn't, if it hadn't been for the opportunities that were available through financial aid. So. I'll go over them briefly. Uh, grants would be the most important one uh, that I would say you want to familiarize yourself with as a student, uh, regardless of what institution you will be attending, uh, you know, whether it's a two-year college or a four-year university. Uh, and grants is what in the financial aid world we like to call free money, because uh, typically you won't have to pay that back as long as you maintain a certain performance and you're doing well within your coursework. So uh, always make sure when you speak to a financial aid representative that you um, ask, you know, what type of grants am I, uh, do I qualify for? or What type of grants are available in order for me to pay for my education, which is important. Work study is also very, very important. And basically this is our work study program that we have at CBC, uh, it gives you the opportunity to work while on campus. Uh, for instance, you might be working with the enrollment services team, or you might be work, uh, working as a work study with our advising team or in financial aid. Um, and the way that work study opportunities work is basically uh, you do get a paycheck uh, to work on campus and you can use that to offset some of the costs that you may have while attending, uh, while pursuing your education, whether it's buying books, you know, pumping gas, things like that that come up on a day to day basis. So. Grants and work study are, are very, very good resources that you have available. Um, in the event that perhaps you don't qualify for uh, grants or work study, we also have uh, loans, uh, student loans that are available. I always tell students that if at all possible, make sure that you don't use student loans because at some point you would have to pay back those loans. Uh, so the loans that we have available are a uh, federal direct loan, and this is funded directly by the federal government, uh, and it helps you uh, pay for the cost of your education. Uh, you do have to pay this back at some point uh, with interest. Uh, so like I said, always make sure that uh, you, uh, for the most part, 
always access uh, work study opportunities and grant opportunities, which is the money that you won't have to pay back with any type of interest. Uh, scholarships are also very, very important. We have uh, scholarships through our CBC Foundation, which are available to use as students, uh, make use of those scholarship opportunities. There's resources online that you can use. Fastweb.com is a very, very great resource that you can use to have access to, to scholarships. The only advice that I really like to give students on the scholarships is uh, with regards to pursuing those opportunities is just make sure you never ever pay to apply or submit uh, a scholarship application. Um, it's, it's typically fraud. 100% of the time it'll be fraud. Uh, if you think about just the, the, the reality of it, if someone is wanting to give you free money in scholarship aid, why would they charge you to actually submit an application? So just stay away from uh, submitting any type of payment for any scholarship application. Those applications should always be free. And, uh, and make sure the FAFSA ends with .gov. Geo yes. Um, and uh, the uh, we also have opportunities for our, our dreamers. Um, this is for students um, that uh, are not um, basically don't qualify for FAFSA or the uh, free application for federal student aid based off the guidelines. Uh, opportunities are also available for you here at CBC and we'll help guide you through that entire process and submitting that application and, and navigating that process, which is different from the other financial aid opportunities that we have available at the college. Um, this is uh, just really quickly, I won't uh, overwhelm you all with this information, but uh, I do like to include it in our presentation. Uh, I've worked in financial aid and financial aid is just at the heart of what we do in enrollment services for me specifically. Um, and making sure that you, you continuously qualify for financial aid is going to be very, very important as well. I like to share my personal experience with students with regards to financial aid. My first semester in college, I didn't take it serious at all. Um, if I were to show you my transcript today, I have four Fs. Uh, on my academic record for uh, my first semester in college. Um, and it just created a lot of headaches after that with regards to qualifying for financial aid. Uh, I had to submit appeals. I had to pay back uh, the, the money that was given th to me through the grants. Um, and I actually had to take a lapse in, in pursuing my education for about two to three years in order for me to complete that and, and get those requirements out of the way and qualify for financial aid again. So it's very, very important that you maintain your financial aid eligibility at any institution of higher education um, and making sure that you know what those requirements are. So specifically here at CBC, um, it's making sure that you uh, maintain at least the minimum GPA that's on the presentation uh, with regards to the number of hours attempted and that you pass 67% of the courses that you're attempting. So for instance, if you uh, are gonna be taking four classes, uh, you should pass three of those classes within a given semester. Anytime that you are not meeting these requirements, you're at risk of being placed on probation and, and uh, worse, um, being placed on suspension and not qualifying or having access to your financial aid to pay for your coursework for that semester. So um, like I said, make sure you're always meeting the financial aid requirements uh, with regards to you being eligible for financial aid. You could submit an application, but if you haven't been doing well in your classes, um, there's a uh, possibility that you could lose um, your, your eligibility for financial aid. Um, with regards to the general education requirements, um, CBC has a very, very lean general education coursework, which I particularly like. Uh, with regards to the advising standpoint, it makes it a lot easier for students to understand what's required of them in order to complete uh, an academic program. Um, it limits your options to a certain extent. We do have uh, numerous options for you as a student because we want to make sure that you are able to take courses within the general education uh, content areas that are going to be particularly of interest to you, but at the same same time, we don't we want to make sure that uh, there's not too many courses within our general education requirement where it makes it too difficult for you um, to self advise um, and not really know what's needed to complete your degree. So, uh, like any other uh, general education requirements within any institution of uh, any public institution of higher education within the state of Texas, we follow the same rules, the same general education requirements. You would need uh, six hours in communication, three hours in mathematics, uh, and the list goes on for a total of 20, 42 uh, credit hours within our general education requirements. And that's going to be the same, uh, like I said, at any uh, public institution of higher education within the same uh, within the state of Texas. We all follow the same guidelines. I just wanted to make a, a quick um, note there. Randy, do you mind sharing just a little snippet of um, how you guide students with core curriculum, making sure they're on the right degree plan? Um, just kind of walk us briefly through what you what you do. 
Yeah, absolutely. So when a student comes in um, and is looking to register for courses, I always like to sit down with that student and kind of find out what their goals are. Where are you planning to go? What are you planning to do with your degree? So we can make sure you're on the right degree plan. Um, some students come in and they're like, I want to get my degree in Associates of Art. Um, but their goal is to go to teach, let's just say, and they're wanting to transfer to a university. Well, that university requires that they take an Associates of Science. So I always try to make sure that that kind of aligns where they need to go. And then we guide them based on that um, degree plan to kind of decide what courses they're going to take while they're here with us at CBC um, to make sure that they're in the right degree path and that they're not in a sense and what, taking what courses a great that resource are really and truly you know a lot of people just kind of jump in and they find out two years into it that you know that's not what they're interested in and they didn't take the right courses and that's just kind of wasted time and that goes back to your financial aid too you know that that was covered under that so um you know what a great resource a lot of people are a little timid to talk to success coaches and you know counselors but utilize them absolutely um they're there to help you help to guide you so um great points on the on the FASPA resources and the general education um you know you guys you covered it and you you pointed out the, the main points that a lot of people don't you know realize like about the gpas and you know if if you are spending the right time in your in your coursework so um great points absolutely Can you continue to the next slide? Yes. Okay. And um, just a general overview of our um, facilities. Um, there were a medium sized campus. Um, our centers are um, small centers located in Alice, Pleasanton, and Kingsville. But um, we'll go to the next slide. And um, I do want to uh, point out that. Um, we do offer uh, services for disability services for people that may need accommodations in their classes. So we have a team that is uh, ready and willing to help students with that process. Um, once again, please feel free to visit uh, coastalbend.edu forward slash student services and all that information will be on there. I think the slides might be a little frozen. Uh oh, um, okay. It's still, <laughs> there you go. <laughs> And basically this enrollment services, um, Dean Suarez, do you wanna quickly cover one, two, and one through four? Yes, definitely. Okay. So um, like I said, we have uh, support services with admissions. We can help you through that entire process. If you're unfamiliar with it, um, You know, feel free to come into the campus and we can help you with it. Or if you need a virtual session, we can provide that support as well. Um, there are financial aid services, uh, the same thing. We have specialists on staff that can help you through that entire process navigating the FAFSA application, the requirements that you may need to submit in regards to supporting documentation, like tax returns, social security numbers, all of that information and, and that process, we can help guide you and facilitate that process for you here at CBC. Um, testing services, um, seeing where you place on the college readiness scale as well uh, with regards to your TSI uh, and the, the state assessment within the state of Texas. We can help you with that process. We have services here on campus to help you with that. Uh, we have teams, we have labs available for you to come and test. Um, and we're actually offering those services virtually as well. So if you don't feel comfortable visiting the campus to test uh, at a, a location, that's perfectly fine. We understand that. Uh, we can still facilitate that entire process for you virtually and remotely to where you don't have to actually access the campus, but still get the support that you're needing. Um, our dual credit uh, team is, is here to help students as well uh, that are maybe dual credit or transitioning from the high school setting uh, into the college setting and maybe took some dual credit coursework. We have dual credit specialists that can help you with that process. And uh, like Randy mentioned, actually, you know, getting advising, uh, knowing what coursework you took in dual credit and how it aligns with the, the program of study uh, after high school graduation, we can help you navigate all of those processes through our enrollment services teams. So um, don't, don't feel scared uh, to, to ask questions or uh, request support. That, that's where our teams are here to make sure they navigate those processes in the most effective way. Um, and that if you have any questions, we help guide you through, through those questions and concerns. 
And um, once you're done with enrollment services, then it flips over to student services. And that's where my team and I come in and um, make sure that you feel very supported here at Coastal Bend College. We provide success coaching. Um, Randy, Jessica, Carlos, or, um, and Trey are ready to help out um, when needed and, and help you navigate your way through higher education because it can be tricky sometimes. So think of us as like your compass and we're going to help you um, navigate everything you need to know through college. Um, we also provide tutoring services. Our tutoring services for fall of 2020 are going to be offered virtually. We use the platform TutorMe. Um, and then also we're using Microsoft Teams so that students can still meet with their tutors um, in a virtual format, but um, still work with them through that, that uh, mode. And then um, disability services mentioned. If you need any assistance with disability services, uh, coastalbend.edu forward slash disability services. All of our applications and everything is online. So you don't have to print anything out or come into our office if you don't feel comfortable. We do everything virtually and online. And we're also providing special accommodations for students in this new remote learning environment. Um, so please feel free to reach out to the Office of Disability Services and we can help you with that. Um, also, we do provide um, Learning Resource Center, which is through our library. All of our um, resources are also offered virtually as well um, through the library services. So please check that out and we're there to support you um, along the way in that area. And just want you to know that um, our Cougar values, we want to run through these with you. These are so important and at the core of everything that we do. Our learning, as I mentioned before, um, promoting lifelong learning is very important to us. Respecting each other, innovation, providing leadership opportunities through our student life um, department, and also excellence. And that's professional and personal excellence we're promoting. Um, it goes on to... Um, the next set of values, it's probably freezing a little bit, um, which is diversity, um, integrity, collaboration, communication, and service. Um, as mentioned before, we are a student-centered um, institution and we wanna make sure that we're supporting our students the best that we can. We can go ahead and skip through this next portion. Um, we, of course, our student uh, rights and responsibilities are on our student services page. And if I can uh, just cover something briefly on our student rights and responsibilities, uh, we just make sure that everyone is, uh, you know, valued and that you feel, uh, you know, with a safe learning environment with regards to your peers, instructors and staff. So we make sure that all of those support services are available for you here as well at CBC, um, you know, while you're at the college and even moving forward as you progress through your academic career. Um, the cost of attendance, I'll just cover this briefly. Um, CBC does have some of the lowest cost of attendance in the state state, along with our peer institutions uh, within the region, which is very, very important. Uh, you know, uh, this area, the Coastal Bend area and the uh, higher education partners that we have, you do have some of the lowest cost of attendance within any uh, institution of higher education in the state. And that's going to be important for you as a student as you lead through your uh, professional career. Going back to uh, financial aid and loans, I mean, uh, one of the things that you need to keep in mind and, and keep in perspective is that you want to make sure that you're not accruing a, a large amount of loans in order to to pursue your degree because um, when you put that into context with regards to for instance uh, Trey mentioned the amount that you'll be earning as a as a nursing professional um, that could easily be you know deterred or skewed based off the amounts of loan this loans that you're having to pay back so we want to make sure that you're successful both personally and professionally um, and those uh, the cost of attendance is going to be a very very important factor for you as a student so um, it's always advised to uh, pursue um, your particular course or career of interest, make sure that you're doing that uh, while also considering the financial implications, uh, you know, while attending college and even there afterwards as you progress into your professional career um, and into uh, just your, your lifelong journey uh, moving forward. And with that, um, we will wrap it up. Uh, we hope that we shared um, information that will help you um, actually get to Coastal Bend College because we want to serve you. We want you to be here at our campus and, and help you out. So um, please visit our webpage at coastalbend.edu. Um, thank you so much for your time. And we also want to thank Coastal Compass 
for our renewed uh, partnership. We're really excited um, to work with you. And thank you. Absolutely. And, and thank you all for being here. You know, such great, valuable information as far as just even, you know, getting into Coastal Bend College and what all you offer and all the accommodations and, you know, um, everything in between. So what a great, great informational, um, you know, pre presentation that you just gave. And, you know, we're getting a lot of calls here at the center, um, you know, people looking to apply for Coastal Bend College. And the one of the main questions is, is it too late for me to register for fall? semester. So asking as one of the callers in, um, what would be your answer to that? My answer to that would be no, it is not too late. Uh, we can definitely, we still have some time to, to get through that process. Our final registration uh, uh, is going to be on the 29th. It's on a Saturday. Uh, we're actually going to be hosting extended service hours this Saturday and the following Saturday from 10 to 2 p.m. So any individual that's wanting to visit the campus on the day, uh, for instance, maybe you're having to work, uh, you know, throughout the week and can't uh, visit the campus on the regular eight to five schedule that we typically have. The Saturday uh, extended registration hours will be this coming Saturday and the following Saturday from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Um, and I'd also like to note that um, we want to make sure that students are aware that there's going to be uh, a, a lot of resources available for them for this coming semester. Um, in response to COVID, uh, some of the resources that have been made, been made available to the Institution of Higher Education has been our CARES Act funding. Uh, this uh, spring and summer semesters alone, uh, we awarded over $700,000 in additional grants to students. This is in addition to the uh, federal Pell Grants that we mentioned before um, that were given to us in order to give to students and help offset some of the uh, trials and, and tribulations that they're having in response to COVID at this time. And for the fall semester, we expect to award another $300,000 in additional grants uh, uh, through our CARES Act funding. So that's going to be very, very important. We want students to know that um, we understand the current pandemic has uh, shifted a lot of the uh, ways that we offer our services and, and has shifted a lot of the experiences that they're having right now and some of the, the decisions that they're ha having to make both professionally and personally. But we are here to support you in, in, in those decisions and in making sure that you have access to a quality education at a low cost. And we're also here to provide support with the services and, and making sure you're able to get registered and enrolled. I encourage you to, um, to contact or email student success at coastalben.edu. That email is going to go to all of our student success team and someone will get back to you right away to answer your questions and help you register. Thank you. We do have a quick question from the viewer. How can I get more information about CARES Act funding? Uh, there's information on our main CBC website under uh, COVID. Uh, let me just make sure I'm, I reference it correctly because <laughs> we have several tabs there, but it's under COVID-19 under the main CBC website site. It's on the, one of the main tabs and you can reference the uh, CARES Act reporting. It has all of the general information with regards to how much CBC received in CARES Act funding, how much we've actually awarded uh, as of this date. Um, and more importantly, I also want students to know that CARES Act funding is not need-based. So um, what that means is you don't actually have to qualify for uh, federal grants uh, you do have to submit your FAFSA application in order for us to see if you're eligible, but it's not need-based. So we do have students that applied for uh, CARES Act funding in the summer term who perhaps weren't, uh, you know, didn't qualify for free federal grants uh, this semester, and we were able to award them CARES Act grants in order to help offset some of the costs that they had uh, in direct response to the COVID-19 pandemic that they're having uh, to address some of those challenges throughout the semester. If you go to the uh, main website at coastalben.edu, the top blue banner, you're gonna look for COVID-19. On the drop down menu, there'll be an application and there'll be also all of the information on CARES Act. Mm -hmm. Thank you, so reassuring. I know that's you know what's on everybody's minds right now. So very reassuring. Um, again, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Um, we're excited to have this connection, Coastal Compass Connections, you know, punny. But um, thank you guys for being here. Um, and I can't wait to do this again. It was, it was great to see you all. And I can't wait till we can get back into person and, mm -hmm. you know, start interacting and you in the center, you know, and us reaching out. So um, 
again, can't stress enough. Thank you so much for all your information and your time today. Thank, thank you so much. You. We appreciate it, Samantha. Thank you for everything that you do and all of your support thank and you. assistance. Yes, sir. You too. Thanks, guys.